Welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be looking at what ideas will get you funding and what are the common mistakes that get people rejected. So before we get into it, please hit the subscribe button on this channel so you can stay up to date with all my CIC business tips. Also, you can go across to my website and do my how to set up a CIC and get funded in four months course or join my mentoring membership. So let's get into it. So I get ideas all the time as part of my uh, website. I invite people to um, give me their ideas so I can let them know whether I think it will get funded or not. So here are some of the uh, common great ideas that get funding and the common mistake ideas that get rejected by the Arts Council, by the National Lottery and by the other grant funders. So to get a successful application through, first of all, your CIC needs to benefit the community and needs to involve the community. So what I mean by that is you need to be running something that uh, you some kind of consultation with your community, um, maybe steering groups, or um, maybe you've talked to your community with surveys, or maybe you've run an event before, and you know that there's a certain problem that needs solving, um, and there's a demand for your project. So let's give you some examples. So maybe you're running a, a local sports club with young people trying to get kids off the streets, get them into sport, or maybe you're getting them into arts and crafts, or maybe you're doing some kind of education with them. So that kind of thing is a positive project and that's the kind of thing that will get funding. So you can see with a project like that why it involves the community and benefits the community. So what are some of the common ideas that people come up with that won't get funding? So they're ones that don't involve the community. So for instance, I quite often get people come to me and say, I've got a business, maybe I'm a photographer, or um, I'm a hairdresser or beautician, or I've got own this property and I don't know what to do with it. Um, and they're people who are struggling in their business um, and they think, oh, maybe I'll start a CIC and maybe I'll do something for the community with my business, um, give people something for free. Like maybe I'll um, give them training on how to be a beautician or maybe I'll give them free photography shoots or something along those lines. So they're a struggling business and they're thinking, they're looking at grants, CIC grants, and they're thinking, oh, well, I could just give my service for free to the community and then maybe that'll get me funded. No that won't get you funded. So what the um, Arts Council, the lottery, all of those types of people will, will look at, they'll look at that and they'll think, okay, that's just a business and those people that are getting those free products, they should be paying for that. So, um, you know, it could be a justifiable thing. Like for instance, say you're a, you're a sports massage um, person and you think, oh, I could help people with disabilities. I could help people who are in pain. But still, the um, the Arts Council would think, well, that's not really a community involved project. That's like that's like one worker who's giving something for free. Great, it's a good cause for them to give something free to people who need it, people with disabilities, people in pain, uh, people with mental health issues, all these sorts of things. That it might be a good cause, um, but that's not going to get you grant funding because it's not something that involves the community at every level. So, um, whereas, say you uh, were like. Um, a personal trainer and you um, put on a, a, a dance class for young people or for, for the community generally and it's something that involved the community uh, say for instance you had some volunteers working with you so say you ran a whole project with giving free exercise classes or something like that that would work because it's bringing people together because there's more than one person that's coming in so they're coming together as a group so for instance when I was a photographer um, I uh, did photography walks and got grant funding because I went out did walks and I brought people together because they all came and joined a group activity so you can see that's a group activity it's bringing people together whereas as a photographer if I just give an individual photo shoots away for free that wouldn't be, that's not bringing the community together. So you can see there um, some clear examples of how um, a good idea for a project is something that brings lots of people together, a bad idea is something that benefits a business and doesn't bring people together, it's too individual. So my next tip is, um, so my next tip is you need to be changeable every year or every project cycle. So what I mean by that is if you've got a CIC, you might think, okay, so my CIC is going to um, give food packages to the homeless. Okay, that's great, fantastic cause, totally get you funded in the first year. 
but the but they're not going to keep funding you for the same project year in year so you'll have to mix it up a little bit each year so you have to change it a bit it doesn't have to be completely different you can still say give food to the homeless but it needs to be maybe the first year it's parcels uh, maybe the second year it's like a a cooking lesson um, or, or somewhere where they can go and learn skills. So you're, you're changing the project slightly every year. So that's why when you write your CIC um, aims, when you write your uh, registration documents, you want to keep it a little bit vague. Um, so you don't want to say, I'm going to benefit young people, for instance, um, and I'm going to do this activity because that's too close. You want to say, I'm going to benefit the community because one year you might do something with young people and then the next year you might do something with older people. So you want to be able to um, change your project so you're able to get funding year after year for a slightly different project, which is on the same theme. So your theme could be um, that you want to, um, you know, address hungry, you know, hunger in our community. Um, so that could be your overall aim um, and then you want to keep it loose so that every year you can do something slightly different. So my next project idea is going to be something around that isn't activity based, it's more research based. So you can also get funding for research and development projects. So what I mean by that is say um, you want to um, research domestic abuse, maybe something that hasn't been researched before in your area. Maybe you want to see um, uh, what the mental health um, is like and you want to survey and do some research and some group work with, say, uh, victims of domestic abuse or, or people with mental health issues or uh, people suffering from um, a hate crime or some kind of research, so maybe, in your area. So um, also the other thing you can do is historical research, so Heritage Lottery do applications. Um, where you can apply to do a piece of historical research as well. So again, something that hasn't been done before and you can apply to it and then you can do that research and put together maybe some kind of book or report or website or exhibition or something from it. So, so that's a research project um, and also in development. So if it's something that's going to develop an idea, so uh, that could be uh, your uh, development as an artist. So you can apply for Arts Council funding to develop yourself as an artist or you could put in um, that you're uh, doing a research and development project to make sure that your uh, community project, your CIC, is gonna be able to be sustainable long-term because through this development and this research that you're doing, it means that you're gonna be able to best serve your community in this way, X, Y, and Z way, um, and that's gonna help you become sustainable long-term. So my next tip is for a good project is awareness raising. So you might be running a CIC and your aim is to raise awareness of a certain issue. For instance, say maybe men's mental health, that's something that's come up over the last three years, especially with the um, COVID and the suicide rates of young men particularly. So take that as an example. So maybe you wanna raise awareness and that is a group of people that are hard to reach. They're less likely to engage in counselling, they're less likely to go to their GP. So you wanna raise awareness in some way, shape or form. So that might be through um, some kind of outreach work, it might be through some kind of group work, it might be through um, leaflets or videos or social media posts or something along those lines. So um, that's an awareness raising project. So that's a great idea for a CIC. Um, and I know lots of people who've done great awareness work um, and got funding for that year after year. Again, you can change it slightly every year. So say you wanna raise awareness, and like I said, your topic is say mental health. You might do men's health one year, you might do young people and violence, you might do self-harm another year. Um, so you might do PTSD another year. So it's something you can slightly change every year. So last of all, let's talk about arts. So arts is a great project idea. Anything involving arts is great. So if you've got a CIC that has some kind of artistic element, even if say I've been working with say some sports CICs and they've still got an arts section because they're doing dance or creative performance. So lots of CICs in some way, shape or form could involve arts. If you have a CIC that involves arts, it means you can apply for Arts Council funding. This is a great funding pot, and I talk about it a lot on this channel, so you can see the other videos on that. But with the Arts Council, it means you're still doing community work, you're still involved in the community through maybe workshops or exhibitions or bringing people together as an audience. So there's lots of ways um, you can bring the community together through the arts. 
So let me give you a few examples. We've already talked about the examples of photography and dance, um, but other things you could be doing could be visual arts like making some kind of movie or documentary. And um, that's something that the Art Council like, and that's something that's good with raising awareness and things like that. Um, so other things you could do could be making zine books or magazines, um, some kind of book like for example I saw a great one that was made by Women's Refuge and they got everybody in the refuge to do like a creative piece about their experience and do some kind of artwork, it might be a piece of poetry, it might be a drawing, it might be a photograph but put together it was a fantastic piece of work and it really brought together all the women's experience in this great um, artistic way and that was able to raise awareness then uh, for what it was like being in a refuge and they were able to use that book um, and give that to and show that to other women who were thinking of coming into a women's refuge. So that's an example of how you could do an artistic project like poetry or um, photography or make books or make exhibitions uh, where you're getting together people's experiences, you're engaging them with art and you're also able to um, uh, build communities, bring people together and raise awareness. So it hits off lots of different boxes when you get creative and you get into arts projects. So those are my ideas. If you've got more ideas or any questions, um, please jump over to my website, jump in the chat box and ask me whatever you want. So uh, if you've got an idea and you wanna know whether it might get grant funding, um, just drop me a message and I'll get back to you. And please subscribe to the channel and give me any ideas for any other content that you want. If you're running a CIC, um, and you, you want some kind of content or you're thinking about different ideas, uh, please just drop me a message and I'll see what I can do.